So thanks for joining us, Samara, for the, our summit. It's great to learn more about the students and what you're doing now after a whole year in the academy. So I appreciate that. No worries. What made you kind of decide to do the academy? Like what, what was the decision maker for you? Um, I'm a huge believer in fate. And this is one story that I've told a couple of times now, I think. And um, it was around about November... Um, last year um, of 2018 and um, I was heading in to watch a documentary called Embrace um, and as I was waiting to walk in I was didn't really know anybody there except for one other lady so I was just sort of sitting in my car waiting for the right time to walk in and um, scrolling through my phone on Facebook and Emma's beautiful face pops up <laughs> and she was talking about the Body Love Academy and what's involved and all that sort of stuff. And I just sort of felt like everything was aligning in place for me. And after I watched the documentary Embrace or even during I was um, watching the documentary, I just felt this fire in my belly burning bigger and bigger. And so I, um, yeah, so I, then I had to remember what your Facebook page was because I didn't even, it was just like a total random thing that came up in my thi um, newsfeed because I'd never liked your page before, never seen you there before. And so I had to search for you or try and remember where you were from. And so I found you because <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I might have written some comments and then I would have got some notifications or something like that. And so, yeah, and then we had our discovery call and I just knew, I just knew this is where I had to be and this is what, uh, or where my path in life was leading towards. I didn't quite know which direction it was going to go just yet then. Um, but yeah, I've certainly found out where it's headed now, which is really, really exciting. It is. And I'm going to ask you about that in a sec, yeah. but I know you're really busy cause you've got four young boys and you have a husband and you, you look after dogs and do all sorts of crazy <laughs> stuff. How the hell did you find time to do an academy at the same time? Like yeah. 2019 for me has just been one crazy year. I don't think I've had so much on my plate ever. Um, do you know what? I've ever since I've had my first baby, I have always had the philosophy of living one day at a time, just putting one foot in front of the other and getting done what I can get done in one day. And so I would study probably when the kids were in bed and my husband does community theatre as well. So he would go off on a, you know, Tuesday and Thursday night and they were generally the times that I would pop on. I had a bit of quiet time, no one to distract me and I would get in there and do a bit of study. Yeah, so I just, I just made it fit. And the great thing about um, each module or each week um, of the Body Love Method um, Academy is that the time that you spend um, in the learnings or the teachings that are given isn't, um, it doesn't take that long. So it's not like a lot of time taken away from you. Um, and I really believe that the learning really starts when you start coaching. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I did that deliberately. I wanted the the lessons to be about 30 minutes because I know yeah. that like we're all busy so it's something you can absorb quickly but then it's yeah it's the coaching but it's also putting those practices into practice for yourself and exactly. all those kind of things so it's more the doing rather than the learning that Absolutely. where you get yeah where you get the benefits that's cool yeah so for you what was the highlight of the program oh the highlight of the program I have to say do you know what? I probably just the last four months, I really feel like that's frozen. Some clients, and which is even more exciting. And 
just being able to have a Facebook support group that I can go back to and ask any questions or um, queries or anything like that that I might have has been really, really beneficial. And I've even been jumping in there each week after I've done a um, coaching session and just giving like a bit of a download because I sort of feel like that kind of sets it in stone in my own mind as well. Mm. And um, I think also just the connections that I've made with other women that have um, joined the Academy as well. Um, I've made some really beautiful friendships um, with women I've never even met. Mm. And it's just a place that you can feel safe and secure and really supported. And I think that's been like there's so many highlights to it. <laughs> like you can't just pinpoint one. Um, but yeah, you know, Emma, you're so gentle with um, the students and gentle but firm. Um, but yeah, so it's been it's been a great experience. That's for sure. Oh, that's good to hear. I'm I'm yeah. really glad to hear that. Um, have there been any kind of low moments for you? Because it is over a 12 month period, yeah. and because you've got so much on and learning new stuff and all that sort of thing. Was there any moments where you felt a bit low and how did you get out of them? Yeah. So I suppose by learning the body love method, you kind of live the journey. Mm -hmm. And so because this year for me personally has been an extremely busy year, I've had quite a few low moments. Um, you know, earlier this year I had autoimmune issues, my hair was falling out and things like that. And that's when I kind of decided that self-care was actually quite a priority in my life. And so I started to use some of the tools from the Body Love Method, um, such as, you know, journaling and meditation and um, I went and had some Reiki sessions done and all that sort of stuff to be able to help pull me through mm -hmm. um, using things like the chakras and um, crystals and things like that um, have certainly helped as well. And, you know, like for me, living in a house of four boys, young boys and my husband and all that sort of stuff, it's just life is really busy. And so... Um, having those low moments is just when I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, I think. And just knowing when I'm able to pull those tools out and kind of step back for a second and just reflect, mm. I think that's really important to know when to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the beauty of the course, isn't it? You're learning this method to be able to share with others. And then, absolutely. of course, you learn it for yourself so that you're able to look after yourself better as well. That's right. And there was some weeks where I, I think I might have missed maybe two or three weeks in a row, but because the um, each module um, weren't too long, I was able to catch up on them, almost have like a binge session yeah. when I was able to make time as well, which certainly helped. And I found probably when I, the weeks I wasn't doing my um, studies was probably those weeks I was having those low moments. So just not feeling worthy almost so like I was putting myself down because I'm not being able to keep on top of things. Mm. Yeah. But just certainly knowing in the back of my mind that I can do it and I yeah. have done it. <laughs> you have done it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's a beautiful segue. What's next for you? What are you going to do with what you've learned this year? Yeah. So Oh, earlier this year, I came up with this concept called Body Love After Birthing Babes. And naturally, it just came naturally, I think, because, you know, I'm a mum of four. And something um, occurred to me is that a lot of mothers have a lot of body image issues after they have children because their bodies change so much. And, you know, while to me, body image issues... Um, you know, it's, it's very, it's like an umbrella. It's one of those things where it's, that's just the surface, but there's so much more going on underneath. And that's what I love about the body love method is that it allows for that opportunity to um, explore those other areas. It's not just about body image you're able to go and explore those other areas um, with your clients as well um, but yeah certainly in regards to body love after birthing babes it's just a space to raise awareness that a mother's body is beautiful she's strong she's courageous she's able to achieve many things um, and she's certainly not defined by how she looks 
Beautiful. So will you be offering coaching or workshops or what, what are you going to be offering people? Yeah. So I've got my 2020 year planned out. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> um, already. So graduation. <laughs> yeah, which has really helped because that was part of the body love method um, course was to um, have a marketing side of it to help prepare you for the following year. So um, next year I'll be offering three 12 week coaching um, rounds, I suppose you would call them yeah. um, to clients. And yeah, I'm just so um, proud that I'm able to provide those services to so many other mums out there who just need to love themselves. Yes. And know that they're more than they think. Exactly. I love your, your little motto. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a good one. It is. So um, I'm going to put a link to your webpage so that people can keep following you and get in touch if they want to do the coaching with you. I know Amazing. you've been getting so much out of coaching your practice clients. So yeah. um, when you start having your, you know, not that your practice clients aren't real clients, but when you start to really, you know, do these 12 week programs next year, People yeah. are going to get so much out of it because you've had so much That's practice, right. you know. And even, you know, I've, I'm almost up to week eight um, of coaching my current clients. So mm. we've got six weeks left, four, uh, five weeks left, sorry, mm. of the coaching program. And um, I was actually thinking about it today. Um, you know, before I start a coaching session, I make sure I've got all my information ready to go. I even do extra research um, for my clients because every client is unique and different um, and sometimes they have you know different things going on so I like to be prepared in relation to them specifically mm. and um, I just it makes me excited to know that next year when I'm doing or coaching more <laughs> It's one of my little ones. Yeah. Coaching other women um, that I'm going to learn even more, which just, it's just, it's like that up leveling almost, you know? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And that's the beauty of coaching. I think for the client, it's great because you're learning all the time, but it also helps you improve and grow and Absolutely. learn as well. So that's yeah. why I wanted to share this course with other people so that as a coach, you get to just grow and learn all the time. Yes. And then you pass that on and then this becomes this ripple effect. And, you know, Absolutely. I don't know if it's possible, but maybe one day we can have a world where women aren't beating themselves up for the way they look. And instead they're talking about all the fun and exciting challenges they're giving themselves. Exactly. That's one of my is. things that um, came to me only just this week, actually, is that by offering this to mothers now is helping them them to create positivity around themselves so their children see how they now perceive themselves and then we are creating that next generation of adults who will hopefully indulge in self-care and self-love where it will just become a normality mm. and it won't be something that is I was talking about this earlier this week where self-care in the past was considered selfish. Hmm. How dare you? You've got children. How dare you go and take care of, you know, have a facial or a massage or something like that? Um, you know, it was considered selfish. Whereas now these days you are, um, you know, encouraged to take self-care because it's so important for mental health more specifically um as well yeah yeah so yeah the ripples are just going to keep going out yeah. and so i thank you so much for um really taking a chance on me because it was the first year that i was offering the course i yeah. had a vision and i knew exactly what it was going to look like but i'm so yeah. pleased that i attracted people like you because you've made it such an amazing year yeah and, um, and thank you for creating this course i think i spoke to you once or twice and i was like yep sign me up <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> but I think that's a great message for some people that might be watching this because I know it's scary to sign up for something for 12 months. Yeah, I know it's yeah. a lot of money to invest in yourself yeah. when we're not used to investing in ourselves or used to investing in our family yeah. and other things. But, Absolutely. Um, but you'll get so much out of it if you do it. And if you've got that, I feel like if you've got that little gut reaction or that little heart 
yearning right. to do it, then yeah. come and do it because you'll find a way the to way get it done. The way I made it work for me personally, financially, was I had a little side gig going on mm. and I just knew that I needed to make this much each month to, you know, make my payments. Yeah. And that's how I got through to pay for it. I wasn't taking any money from my family or anything like that. Yeah. It was just purely me knowing that this is what I wanted to do and in order for me to do it, I needed to make a pathway and yeah. I did it. Yeah. And I think even still, like, you know, if you've got a bit of spare money in your budget, like Mm. you are actually investing in your family by investing in yourself. Absolutely. You become a calmer, gentler kind of person perhaps or whatever you get out of it. So it benefits everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And I even use the practices on my kids sometimes. (laughs) Yes. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. You know, grow up some body loving boys, which will be lovely. I hope so. I yeah, hope so. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Samara. I appreciate everything you do and everyone follow her. She's going to do amazing things. <laughs> Thanks so much, Emma.